So I'll just wait for people to come in. Ah. That's my dumbbell. I work out during the show. Okay, hopefully some. From, from Pat Chat. Pat Chat? Pat Chat? Amaro, what's up? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? I don't think anybody from Pat Chat's gonna be on. Damn it! That's okay. I wasn't quick enough for uh Pat Chat, anybody from Pat Chat? What's up, how you doing? <laughs> He diddly. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, come on. <laughs> That's great. Are you? Here's like, I just, I just seen this. Here's footage of you, P. Diddly. I can't believe this. That poor girl. Also, that, that video is kind of gay. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, don't count your chickens before they shit. It's <laughs> on. Oh, wow. Um, hello, 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 yes. I'm actually kind of waiting for, uh, Kevin to come on. <laughs> oh, man, he took me. My flex. <laughs> yeah, that dolphin raped that chick. And she liked it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. Um, how is everybody? It's been a while. Uh, it's been... Two hours <laughs> since I was on the last. <laughs> or was it three? I can't remember. How how'd you what did you think about that guy, Stalin? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> he was all right. Uh, gosh, he was a. He was something. And literally, I'm just, I am just waiting for uh, Kevin now. Uh, and honestly, I... <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude made me nervous. Yeah. And that laugh was kind of like, he's fine. But, um. He, he's probably, like, really cool, but, yeah, it was just, like, uh, it was one of those things I'm, like, it's kind of like, um, uh, Canoe's girlfriend, where you can't, you can't be around him for too long because he's just, like, too, too, too much like that. I'd like to believe that I'm not like that, but. Ah, oh, that's a good, okay. I'm on my, uh. TV nerd again. Look at that little Bill Lobley. It's a good one. That's a good one. It's a good one. Who sees a stop sign and thinks, hey, she get glasses. <laughs> That's like the one thing you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone was nervous at my parties. Especially the, um, the girls. Um, Amar, like, thanks, man, but can you stop spamming those, please? Thank you. I appreciate it, but, um, wow. 
But wait. Anyway. No. PB boy love. <laughs> I'm back. Raptor. What's up? How you doing? Um, yeah, so Red Eye. I was on Red Eye. Uh, Red Eye was a late late it was a late night show on a uh, Fox News channel and it came out in 2007. Um, uh, your glasses are so much bigger than your face. I know. Here. Anyway. <laughs> Can't see shit. <laughs> um, do you like BBC? It's fun. It's okay. I like British people. I can't see the screen right now. Anyway. Put a link in the PD Discord. Maybe Pat Chat will see it. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. It's 1.03 in the morning for me. Um, My clock says Eastern Time, too. But it is said to be 10 o'clock my time. <laughs> I um, So, because of red eye and stuff, I work on the East Coast. Um, even though I live on the West Coast, and yeah, I just I just stay on their time. <laughs> so with Red Eye, I I drew them for like a long time. Uh, I drew uh, Gutfeld was the original host of Red Eye, and uh, he stopped being that in uh, 2015, and Tom Shalou took over as host, and that's when I started drawing for it. It was like right when. Tom Shalou started hosting. I don't think that was that question about BBC. In British Broadcasting? <laughs> the British Broadcasting Channel? I like um, the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I, le I legit do. No. I don't like the other BBC thing, if that's what you're talking about. I'm I'm sure that it's something sexual and I'm probably probably think it's sexual. Is it sexual? Even if it is, I don't like it. It chances are I don't like it. <laughs> Big black Oh Well, you know your boy has that. <laughs> I got that BBC. <laughs> um I, for, I totally forgot that that, <laughs> I knew that it wasn't British broadcasting. No, it's, but, yeah. Big Black Chicken. <laughs> it's BBC, Big Black Chicken. Wow. But anyway. So. I, I'm just kind of giving you the rundown, like, history of Red Eye, and it's kind of, Mm. And Andrew Breitbart of Breitbart News, um, he he basically made Red Eye, and um, him and Greg Gutfeld. Greg Gutfeld used to like write for stuff, and see same with Tom Shalou, he would write for stuff, and like everybody was writers, and that's how everybody met each other. Is a uh, Breitbart was a writer, and a uh, conservative writer. And he, like, brought all of these people together and was just like, let's make this show. It's going to be a Fox. Um, they're hired at Fox and everything, and they just kind of pitched the um, the show. And the reason why it's called Red Eye was that it was really late at night. It was 3 o'clock in the morning for East Coast and uh, midnight for us. And, um, and it wasn't a live show, but uh, it was going to be broadcast then. And, uh, so, you know, it's like, like a red eye flight and, you know, red eyes, you're like, you're tired. Ooh, you know, that's why this is called red eye. Are you a femboy? Cause I love it. I'm, I'm doing pretty good then, huh? I heard your friend, <laughs> my God. <it's> good. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> my cock. <laughs> what about my friend Nick? <laughs> but, um. So Red Eye uh, just became kind of a household name, like with uh, Insomniacs, and she has no friends. I don't. There, There's them eyes. What's up, Manix? How you doing, girl? Um, 
And the original people were Greg Gutfeld, Andy Levy, and Bill Schultz was the repulsive sidekick. Hello there from Albania. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> but, um... And they're, like, the Fantastic Threesome. And they had a bunch of... Uh, this show was, like, a panel show. And it had... Um, and it had, like, governors, senators, like, political people, political, uh, like, opinion people. <laughs> and um, news people and mostly comedians, you know. How's your evening? Good, Justin. How about you? What's up, Eduardo? Why, why are you laughing so much? What's so funny? Alb Albanian. You, you wouldn't know Albania. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Name a car for an edit. Uh, do nuts, Trump. Can't complain. Nah, oh, good man. Um, Name a car for an edit. A Cadillac. Um, but yeah, there's like a lot of comedians on there. And, and that's how I met a lot of my friends. And it's funny because like, uh, meeting them and everything. And when we talk, they're like, oh, what comedians do you like? I'm like, I'm not, I never was really into comedy. You know, I wasn't into comedians. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't into that stuff. I, I was just like, I like funny stuff. And Red Eye was funny. And so I liked that. But like watching stand up and watching, you know, stuff like that, I, I just wasn't really, um, I mean, I knew some stand-up, but, you know, it was one of those things that was, like, every once in a while I would watch. Hi, from Birmingham, Alabama. How are you? Hey, man. Good. How about you? Tweeted it to get more pet chat. Thank you so much. Um, you're the, you're the best. Sweet. But, hey, Alabama, did you, did you watch Red Eye when it was on him? Do you like horror movies? No, I don't. Not really. <clears throat> I like a su suspense movies, which is kind of different from horror. Like, a lot of people, they think of horror as, like, the gory, like, hack slash sort of thing. And I'm just not really into that. Which one are you? Jewish or Christian? <laughs> Protestant. <laughs> so Christian. Yeah, I saw Red Eye. Cool. So that's what I'm talking about. I was on, I was on Red Eye. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Judeo Christian, my, my grandma is Judeo Christian. What's up, Santiago? Uh, please watch the Artie and Anthony show with Gilbert Garfi. They did a hilarious bit about Fox News and Candidate Hall, oh, man. You mean Dodge Challenger, Red Eye? I know. Horror movies are gay. Honestly, they kind of are. Um, cause like I mean, they try too hard, you know. Like, oh, that would that would really like ugh, the crowd, and I'm like. I think Walking Dead was kind of like that to me. I'm just kind of, uh, <laughs> like the when they're trying to get that zombie out of the well and it gets like cut in half, and I'm like, well, it doesn't get cut in half. It just kind of goes in half, and I'm like, and of course it's like all gross and gory and everything, and I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> Midsummer? No, I've never watched any of that. Are they suspenseful though? Cause uh, I I I I'm not sure they're. Yeah, I bet you haven't seen them. <laughs> um. But anyway, uh, Red Eye. So great Gutfeld and everybody. It was it was a good show. They had um. My favorite among them was like Thaddeus McCotter and. Uh, Bright Bird, of course. Uh, they had a they had like obscure people on too. But, um, yeah, when Tom Shalhoub, uh, became host, it was just, like, uh, it was different. And plus, uh, Fox News was getting in more PC, so it wasn't as raunchy as it was before, but it was still, it was still kind of there. And access to Netflix, so I see every movie. Nice. It's the skirt. Dumb, what's up? And stealth, what's up? Psychological horror. Yeah. I, I like psychological stuff haven't watched called the end huh? I took a class on horror films still okay 
can't read my language. No. My bad. <laughs> These nuts. Every time I see the crowd, I have nightmares. Ooh. What's your idea of a non-gay movie from <laughs> the professor? <laughs> um. Man. Yeah, Red Eye was really good. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and Tom Shalhoub, he had a he had a bunch of uh, other. What's up, Zachy? How you doing? Um, he had a bunch of other like comedians on there, and one of them was Pat, and uh, Kevin Brennan. He they had like uh, Anthony Cumia on a lot, so that's how I know him. And see, with knowing all of those people, and drawing for those guys every day, I I I got to know them, and um, I'd go to New York and visit, and everybody would know me. And now the cool part about it was uh. In 2018, it was the first time I went to New York ever, and the first time I ever, like, went on a plane, and whenever I, first time I, uh, went out of town, basically, so I, I just kind of went all out, <laughs> and, uh, that was when I met the Cat in the Gap girl, <laughs> cry, but, um, so, uh, I met Shalou for the first time and everything, and, um, when I first went into the Fox News building, and this is like, I've known the Fox News thing since I was like really little. Fox News came out when I was like three. It was in 96. I was think I was three, 94, 95. Oh, two. I was two years old when Fox News came out. And, um, and I kind of remember because like my, my parents used to watch CNN and stuff and then they started watching Fox News. And so it was just kind of like, um, so I, I grew up with that. It was like my whole life. I I known all of these people, known all of these people, <laughs> fake new fox. <laughs> I actually love the shiny, the hair, the Mary, and all of these. That Birmingham accent is worst. Uh, the shiny, yeah, the shiny. Do you have any pet? I have a Persian cat. I have uh, three cats. I actually love the shiny. I'm sorry, your parents are a brother or sister. <laughs> have you ever met uh, Cillian Murphy? He was on Red Eye. Uh, Cillian? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, sweet bone. What's up, Lucas? How you doing? Uh, what's up, Atlanta, Georgia? If either of my parents are awake right now, they have Fox News on within three. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just, it kind of... Like, watching the news was kind of, like, I think it's a generational thing. Like, um, the older folks would watch news, and my parents were old-fashioned. I mean, they were born in the 60s, so, of course, they're going to... I think they're the, the people who were born in the 60s were the last to, like, I'm going to just turn on the news. Because, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't really see anybody from, like, the 70s on up doing that, you know what I mean? I, I kind of just thought about that and went, yeah, <laughs> but, and, uh, so in this, in our household, it was the, like, news was on all the time, and, uh, however, my parents don't do scroll, yeah, right, there's just much, like, <laughs> but, like, uh, so all these people I grew up with, and I've always wanted to be in, uh, television, and I always wanted to meet all of these people, and I always wanted to, like, that, because, like, the news that's real, you know, those are real people. And I wanted to like get to know them, hang out with them and stuff, you know, like, like you do when you're a little kid. And I wanted to be, uh, on TV. I figured I could do that, you know? And, uh, that's why I do like the morning announcements when I was in high school. And I, I was like, oh, I can do that. That's cool. Like host a show and stuff. And, um, like I'm kind of doing right now a little bit. I don't know. But, um, so, when I started drawing for Red Eye and everything, all of these people that I grew up with, um, like, literally my whole life, like, knew who I was, and uh, we got to know each other and stuff. It was, that was great. That was really cool. And, um, uh, something like that stuff. <laughs> when I think of Smallies. Smallies suck. I'm joking. Smallies, how you take? <laughs> Bruh. I don't know. Most movies are but um, 
so so when I went to New York, oh, uh, one of my friends from there, uh, Chris and Tate, her dad and I are friends too. And her dad said that um, Kristen told him that uh, they all had a bet on who I was and like if I was an intern working at Fox or if like who who I was, you know, they like everybody made bets because I was just like this mysterious person, right? And so <laughs> when I was telling people, I was like, I was, I'm going to come visit. They're just like, no, you know, like there, there's no face to Tass, you know, and um and so when I got to Fox News and stuff, uh, they were like, Tess, the resident artist? Everybody knew who I was. And like, everybody was so... <laughs> and it, it was funny to me because I I should have been doing that to them, you know? Because I know them all my life and all this stuff. I, sh I should have been the one freaking out. But they were freaking out toward me. And I'm just like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> But it was really, really cool. And, um, yeah, everybody was just like, holy shit, it's Tess. And they're, like, recording it and taking pictures and everything. Man, that was so cool. And that was my first time going to New York. And um, hung out with the Shalous and his family. Got to meet his family and everything. And uh, hung out. We went to a pizza place. Uh, gosh. And met, like... Uh, Bill Lobley, who's a voice actor for like Bioshock and stuff, and uh, Bill Lobley and Tom Shalou are good friends, and that that was kind of insane, you know, because Bioshock was one of my favorite video games playing, you know. So there was a lot of stuff that I was like, <laughs> eh, <laughs> it's too much, it's too much. It was really cool. Ever since I saw a sketch where I got between two two. Uh, totally off the wall for a news channel. Never mind conservative news. Yeah, exactly, Lugs. It was so good. That's so sick. This must be what people mean by putting yourself out there. <laughs> I see. But yeah, um, yeah. So, oh, man. And I I feel bad though because uh, have you seen Peter? <laughs> But uh, I feel bad because I, I haven't, like, because um, Red Eye was canceled in 2017. and um, But Shalou went on to do his sh radio show, and it was a three-hour show uh, called The Tom Shalou Show, starring Tom Shalou, The Tom Shalou Show. And so he did that for a while, and he did that until 2019. But by then, um, he kind of, he quit. Well, I don't know if he quit or not, but... Um, the show stopped <laughs> and um and I think he kind of needed time to himself like it, it it was kind of a personal thing for him and um what's up Brandon Raymond how you doing be careful he he's about but um yeah so Mr. Shalou he did a lot for me because um in 2017 right before Red Eye got canceled, like, Red Eye was doing really good. It was it was at the highest ratings they've had ever, you know? It was doing really well. Even people people would stay up for it. Like, it, it wasn't just insomniacs anymore, you know? Um, oh, my God. <laughs> so it wasn't just for insomniacs. Like, people actually were, was watching this and DVR in... Um, recording it. I, I don't know what they're called, but, um, you got canceled. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, all this stuff, he was like, um, and I've been drawing them for almost two years then. And so, and a lot of people knew who I was and I can they kind of integrated me into the show and, uh, they'd have my drawings on the show and, um, I even made a lot of merchandise, and so that's how I, I made money back then was um, from merchandise, so red-eye merchandise, um, especially the mugs. I had, um, they had, Fox News had bought the mugs for the show, 
and there was like special guest mug and a special um mug for Tom Chalou, which that's someplace else. I, I don't I wouldn't know where that's at, but I think I know where the guest mug is in the house. I can't remember though. <laughs> but um anyway, so the guests all had mugs. That was on every show for after uh it was sometime in 2016 that that happened. But um so that was really really cool. And um yeah to to see like because my drawings were on the mugs, right? It was just that was so cool. Uh let me see. Uh Hey Portafort. What's up? How you doing? Kevin. Why you got canceled? Who are you? Ah. Test reservoirs. <laughs> oh my god, stealth. <laughs> um so yeah, these mugs were on the show. I, and that was really big for me, you know. And um and Tom Shalou would mention me on the five and mention me on the show on Red Eye. So that all of that was like really cool. I was really like I was kind of up there, you know. That that was my peak. I'm talking about my peak. <laughs> and um and everything was going great. I was drawing all the time. I I was like happy. All of these people knew who I was and kept in touch with all of them. Um would talk to some of them. I was doing live streams back then so I was meeting a lot of the fans and um oh your razor head's creepy dude I, I never watched it but I, I've seen clips of it and I'm like I don't really want to watch it because <laughs> but uh and so 2017 came along and I'm like this is gonna be the best year ever <laughs> this is gonna be the best year ever <laughs> I was so, like, everything was so hyped up, and so, like, man, I was feeling great. I want to pitch Taz to draw. Ray nervously sweating over empty pain pad. <laughs> I might say that. I will say that. <laughs> but, um, and so, for people who know, know what happened, <laughs> but I'll tell the people who don't know. Um, so... Everything was going so well, and Tom Shalou was just like, hey, be on the show. And I was just like, this is this is my dream come true, you know? Like, I'm going to be on the show, and I'm going to make trips to New York to be on the show live on panel, you know, all of this stuff. I, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, this is happening, you know? And I went to, um, he's, he told me to go to my uh, local news place to... Um, do a live stream from there to Fox News. So it was it was pretty um it was pretty legit. It was pretty good. The first person I told was my dad and he was just like, "Fuck!" and he was so stoked about it. And cuz like uh my dad and I would watch Red Eye together like always, you know, since since it came out. And uh, and then like a few days after that my dad died, like for no reason. <laughs> He just up and left this realm. <laughs> He's like, see you later. <laughs> but so my dad died. It was obviously devastating. I'm over it, so I'm, I'm joking. But it sucked. It sucked at the time. I could laugh about it now, but it sucked at the time. It sucked. And I was just like, <sighs> and uh, Bill Lobley found out through my Facebook because my fucking aunt tagged me. <laughs> Joe Smith died 2017, hell yeah. And um, I'm like, awesome. And Bill Lobley and them were friends on Facebook. And he told Shalou. And Shalou was just like, hey, I heard about your dad. He goes, oh, man, is there anything, you know, really cool dudes, really personal, like just the best, you know, and uh, was there for you, all of that. So it wasn't just, like, a person that I watched on television, but now it was just, like, someone that was there for me and was there, you know, to be, like, a shoulder to cry on, stuff like that. And I was just like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know, like, thank you so much. And um, he, you've done enough, <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> He's done so much for me. And so 
he wasn't really, um, he never, like, said anything about being on Red Eye again. Nah, that's fine, man. Thank you. But, um, so I kind of, like, kind of texted him, like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm still interested in being on Red Eye. Like, I, I kind of want to be on <laughs> I don't, I please don't want to. <laughs> How old was your father when he passed at 55? Um... I need to watch that. Did Kennedy ever give you a pair of her panties asking for a friend? <laughs> I have a picture with Kennedy. I, I can find uh, real quick. Here, I need to get my glasses on. I need to watch the first chance. Like an old person. Um, Always there for far away, not for close up. Um, But, so... I asked him, like, can I please be on Red Eye? You know, like, I, I really want to be on there. And he was like, all right, you know. And so I um, I went to I went to KGW, which is my local news station, which that was really, really cool and got to meet a lot of the people there. And, um, God, that was insane. And, um... Where's that picture? I'll just show you these pictures. But, um, K KGB. <laughs> oh, it's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I went there, and whoever was on, like, uh, he asked me if I wanted to be on Thursday show or Friday show. And I knew Friday show had Anthony Cumia on it. And I, I was a big fan of Anthony Cumia just from Red Eye. I didn't know about him being on the radio or anything, you know. I mean, I knew about the radio show and everything. I just never listened to it. And because, uh, I mean, we're on the West Coast. They're on the East Coast. And um, and we don't have satellite, so. What is Red Eye? Red Eye a, was a late night show on Fox News. And um, so and it was like a long run running a late night show. It started in 2007. And uh, so 2017 was like a big year because it was 10 years old. By then. <laughs> and we were like going strong, going great. Like, like I said, 2017 was so hype. It was hyped the frick up, like at the very beginning. I used to get red eye as a kid, but I won't watch one. <laughs> Gavin's old show on Compound was best when he had a bunch of the red eye get. Yeah, I actually became fan of Shalou when he was on. Exactly, yeah, and Terry Shepard. Yeah, Shalou had Shepard on today for his show. That's kind of funny. I think t you probably watched that, Lugs. That's probably why. Uh, pink eyes, <laughs> yeah. But, um, so, like, I was on, I was on the show, and you could watch it if you, um, look through my, my videos, um, it's probably one of the first few, one of the first four, I think. Why not get serious about doing your own podcast, has everything else on YouTube, sucks balls. I mean, I, I kind of technically think that this is kind of, I don't know, but, um, I used to be on Periscope and they they discontinued that. That was a that was a Twitter Live, and now Twitter Live is kind of. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I used to, I used to live stream a lot, you could you know draw for the show and everything. Um. So, and I I met a lot of the, uh, fans through that, and um. Which I was that was really cool to meet everybody, and you know technically meeting you guys too through it, black guy. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the picture. Mm. What's up? I'm going to resurrect red eye. We call it brown. <laughs> I think you can blow it up and stay at that. <laughs> Hi, good time. Um. <laughs> this cat and that gap girl. He was pretty cool. He had family from Vancouver, Washington, too. And I was like, bruh, 
So we, we end up talking about that. And uh, Kennedy, she's from, like, around Portland. And she, she was saying that she swam in the Willamette. And me and him were both like, ugh. Uh, the locals. The locals understand that. <laughs> the Willamette is, like, sewage water. And we're just like, oh, that's what happened to her. Um, was up, good times? Thank you. Taz the grunge years. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, I was a uh, Tony two shirts for a long time. That was that was a that was a real was a real style. Here's a here. I'll just show you the black hole sun. Won't you come wash away the rain? <laughs> but um. So anyway, I was on red eye. And it's funny because uh, Kevin Brennan was on that show, too. And um, along with Jill Dobson, and she's a total sweetheart. And um, all of the all of these people. And I thought, like, how cool is it? You know, like, I made it. This is, I made it, you know. This is great. And it was, like, the best, you know. It's like, this is the beginning of my, you know, of my life type of thing type of feeling, you know, too. And, um, once the show was ended, I'm just kind of like, and then knowing that my dad wasn't going to be there, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I should be happy, <laughs> but I'm not. Taz on the scale of one to 10, how to 10 does this TV lose? 11. <laughs> and 11. Is it Iago? You are an 11. Um, so, and then, I, you know, we went back home and everything. And, uh, my uncle who took me, he was just like, my, my dad's brother, he was just like, wow, Red, I've never watched it. And I'm like, <laughs> like everybody that was talking about it, like that was there, never watched it, never seen it. And so I was just like, wow, wasn't that cool? That like Kumia and everything. What? N nobody would know. <laughs> so I'm just like. Just sitting there like, I don't want to talk to someone about it, but nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I mean, people give a shit. It's just like, they never, you know, you know what I mean. But uh, you see, he deleted his Twitter and YouTube channel stuff. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that. Native American. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Damn, St so Stevie Lou is... Uh, Stevie no more. <laughs> that was so dumb. No, but I appreciate the great news. Um, oh, I just I just retweeted that stone. Thank you so much. I just seen that. Um, so here's a. Me and the cat in the gap girl. <laughs> That's the first time. First picture in New York. Here's um that weirdo, Bill Lobley. First meetup. And here's like the ro ro ra rodeo, radio studio. And here's uh, Mr. Shalou. Here's that me. New idea. Trauma movie, anti-charisma man. Yeah. I'm just like so doofy. <laughs> Here's a uh, Bill Schultz. Knew him from Red Eye, so he was cool. It was great. Yeah, uh, someone painted that, so that's a Red Eye, and uh, they they put in <laughs> where the restrooms are. <laughs> and Mama Fela in New York. Oh, Kurtley. So we met up with some fans. Kurtley was a really big, like, behind the scenes of Red Eye. But he was just like, yeah, I I, uh, I, gave, I got them their coffee and stuff, too. And I'm like, shit, chill with that. Never heard of trauma. Of course, uh, she's really cool. She uh, lives in the Netherlands now? Ne ne Netherlands? And here's the Yortskis and Kurtley. And it's the mall. 
I'm a fairy. Who cares? I don't give a damn. Anthony Kumi. <laughs> oh, yes. He's getting hooked up. Uh, did he take a picture of the thermostat? See, <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> every, you have to every time. But, um, I was, I was kind of a lame-o. I didn't ask for pictures, but so I was just kind of like taking pictures. Like, <laughs> but he's looking right at the camera. I was like, I seen that picture and went, I know he knew that. I was just like, man, I'm such a lame ass. Well, Taz, I've never seen that. Yeah. So he was like, ah, well. Um, this is uh, for going into Kennedy's. And here's, here's Michio Kaku. <laughs> he was just in the background <laughs> eating cheese. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit was funny. And then here's the Kumia. This was back when Artie Lang was on. And here's Mama Faintly again. He's really cool. And her friend, John Wayne. Got to meet John Wayne. Seemed like a chill friend. Thank you, man. <laughs> My uncle, Dolly, Nixon, the hand, gum, <laughs> Bubba Gump shrimp. And here's, uh, here's Langan's, uh, they had shut it down, but that's where all the Fox News people went, especially the Red Eye people. After the show, they'd go to Langan's. But they had closed it down. I'm like, that's so sad. I I, I really wanted to go there. Why are you lacking those? Yeah. Oh, well, you met all those people. You're famous. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Here's the Shulu show controls. And Lobley was there. Here's a cathedral. It's a cathedral. Eh. Disgusting. Oh, there's like double pictures. <gasps> Jamie and the Bella. Why isn't it showing the whole thing? Oh. <laughs> uh, Nick Mullen did a lot of red eye. I'm finally catching up. Yeah, Nick Mullen was, um, he was all right. <laughs> but Miss LaBella, she was so sweet. I really love Miss LaBella. And uh, that's Bill Lobley. He's so cool. And here's my red pen. Famous red pen. And then Gutfeld, we watched... I, and it's funny because I, I was at Gutfall and never met him then. I met him years later after. Here's a, oh my God, Carly Shimkus. She's so skinny and so tall. And I'm not fat. <laughs> the coat makes me fat. <laughs> Promise. Um, we have a lot of pictures. The getaway, of course. Oh, hell yeah. And here's a Matt Pascarella, the uh, producer for the Tom Shalusha. What did you get on the show for? Um, uh, what did I get on the show for? Um, I just wanted to hang out with Tom Shalou and them. I really liked them. Here's Jamie LaBella and Matt Pascarella again. They're so cool. And that was it. I think that's it. Is that it? Dog. <laughs> First trip to New York. You gotta admit, it was Tin Man. I guess that was. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what do you, uh, Tass was a groupie. I mean, uh, what did they invite you for? Um, to be on the show. So I was on the show. Um, oh, thanks, Facebook. Bruh. Bruh. Facebook, please. Facebook. Uh, but yeah, I was I was on uh, the Tom Shalou show. Um, Red Eye, I was on only once because... Um, sorry, I'm new. It's all right, Crispy. Crispy Bacon, I just... Come on, man. <laughs> um, I, I, I like that. But um, with Red Eye... So the Tom Shalou show happened after Rat Eye because this is, this is what 
this is the turning point. So I, I was talking about how um, 2017 was super hype. Um, best, best ratings. And uh, I was going to be on Red Eye. Um, I was going to be a regular. And I mean, I would think <laughs> that'd be cool. But, um, and it was, he was kind of like, kind of, you know, talking about that. And I was just like, oh man, this is going to be great. This is like, I, I was, I was, you know, it's just like, I reached my peak. I, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> I made it. And, um, like not even a month after, um, and it was like, it was April 1st. It was like around April Fool's Day. So that's what everybody was just kind of like, is it true? Is it true? Um, a decade old show with a huge ass fan base, best ratings, greatest ratings, greater than all the other late night shows. And so I get word from Lisa D. Pascali and she was just like, did you hear about Red Eye getting canceled? And I'm like, no, 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 I haven't. <laughs> don't be doing this to me <laughs> and uh she's just like yeah I heard about that um and then um I knew a lot of the like the background people so I asked Tim Diamond like bro is it is it true like I I heard I heard uh that Red I got canceled he was just like yeah um we had a meeting today and they're like wow great great job guys you know everything's great there's the other thing Tom Shalhoub was in Florida <laughs> doing something for um, Jimmy Jimmy Fallon. So nobody had any clue that this was going to happen. Um, Tom Shalhoub was just like, okay, Andy Levy's going to be guest hosting. Everybody's going to be fine. And so nobody had a like absolutely no, no reason for this whatsoever. And so Tim Diamond told me like, we had the meeting like we do every Monday. They're like, great job, guys. Everything's doing well. Everything's going great. By the way, Friday's your last day. Your last show. As they're leaving the room. And they're like, hold up. <laughs> Say that again. Come back and like explain this to us. They're like, yeah, Friday's your last show. We uh we want to be doing live shows during that time. And Red Eye's not a live show. It, they were pre-recorded. So it was never a live show. And they were like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, at least put Red Eye in a different, like, you know, to where Red Eye could be live, you know. But maybe I should stop asking. But I'm wondering, were you known for something artist? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I drew for the show. So I'd, I'd, um, I'd watch the show and then draw all the guests and like what they were talking about. I, I would draw all of that and then, uh, send it in on Twitter and like tag all of them and everything. And, um, they would all retweet it, like it, you know, all that stuff. And that's, that's how they know me. And, um, I guess they liked it. <laughs> Doesn't Fox just run reruns early? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Lugs, they do reruns. <laughs> and they have done reruns since 2017. <laughs> so there was no reason for Red Eye to get canceled. <laughs> That's why it was so gay. <laughs> We're all just like, another Tucker Carlson. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. She used to be a stand-up comedian. She used the name of Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo Tripped Cunt Punch. <laughs> Hello, Cole. <laughs> Cole here in Wisconsin. I hope you're doing well. Thanks, Pemper. I'm I'm doing well, man. Why didn't you fight Rupert? <laughs> okay, so those pictures you were standing by. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I drew for all of those people. Sorry to rub it in. <laughs> Damn, we went to hear some horror story in your freaking face. <laughs> Oh my god. But um so yeah, it was just 
it it was ridiculous. They just wanted to get Red Eye off because they knew that um, they kind of wanted to like not have Fox News be good anymore because like the Rupert Murdoch, like uh, Rupert Bur Murdoch stopped being there. Roger Ailes had passed, and um, the Murdoch brothers are like total liberal. <laughs> And they're all like, let's ruin daddy's shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, biggest ratings? Die. <laughs> Hiya, get out of there. And basically, that's what happened to Red Eye. And so it was, just, it was just like not fair at all. And Tom Shalou got the news, like, after everybody else did. <laughs> he had no idea until he was, he, like, someone called him finally. I think, like, the whole day, like, even I knew about it before Tom Shalhoub, sh like, did. And I'm just like, jeez. <laughs> nice, those are great pictures, great work. Thanks, man. But, um, here, let me just, like, go bass. No, that would take forever. Just get, oh, actually. Oh, uh, here's the Red Eye Daily Draws. So, uh, here's... All of them. So this was all daily drawings of the show. <laughs> I've done since 2015 to 2017. And you can, you can like really see how my art <laughs> went from ugh to ugh. This is good. It's okay. I support joint. Thanks, man. How much do I Five minutes. Bruh. Oh my god. Factually. But, um... Yeah, it was it was a really good show. Like I said, it's... it's, And this show has been on since I was, like, 12. So it's been, like, most of my life I've known these people. So it was, it was like... Uh, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Honestly. Um, but that's how I met... Like everybody, you know, that's how I met all the compound media people. That's how I met um, all the fans. That's how I met, like, Pat and everything. And just, like, impacted my life, like, substantially. You know, it, it was it was a life-changing thing. It wasn't just a show. It was, it was legitimately life itself. <laughs> so when it got canceled, I was, like... People were upset. <laughs> I mean, I was upset, definitely. I know I cried a lot, but um, a lot of people did, though. A lot, like it. That show meant a, like the world to a lot of people. Like, um, a lot of people reached out to me and was just like, "I know it was just a show. I know this is dumb, but like when my uh when my wife uh, had our kids and stuff, and uh, we'd rock our kids to sleep and watch Red Eye together and stuff, and it made made our um, family closer. You know, all the, like, a lot of stuff like that. And then, like, a, a, a lot of other people was just like, you know, I, I had cancer really bad, and that was, like, the only thing that, you know, kept me sane and kept me going, you know. It made me laugh. It made me made me happy, you know. And there's a lot of other people who was just like, you know, I lost loved ones during that time, and it helped me to grieve, you know. It was It was a really, like... That show meant a lot to a lot of people, and I mean it. I'm I'm only saying like uh, what it meant to me, you know, and and that meant the meant the world to me, you know. Like I said, I I know all of these people. I know you guys because of it, you know, and um, and for it to just like you're done, <laughs> we're just like what? <laughs> it should still be on, you know, and it's just a shame that it's not. Uh, are you talking about Ghost Hunters? Were you on that show? <laughs> no. <laughs> My wife did artwork. We got invited for a White House. They had a quite shitty dinner. Oh, man, crispy bacon. I believe it. Might have been the first weave to visit Fox News. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> How is Tom in person? Greg Gutfeld seems like a nice guy on TV. Uh, Greg, um, he's, he's, like, absolutely not a people person, so Tom is, like, the opposite of that. He's very, very personable, and, uh, loves the fans, and, like, uh, gives you the time of day, and Greg, like, kinda, you have to, like, meet him during a meetup, you know? 
But like Shalu, like after the show, he'll be out after the show and everybody just come up and meet him and stuff. And he talks to you, you know, he's, he's a really cool person and he's, he's fun to be around and everything. He does have serial killer because <laughs> he does like this, like weird, like he has like these weird eyes, you know, and very expressionate though. And, uh, but that's why he's like that. He's just very expressionate. But it's just like his eyes kind of like he and he starts talking like this and just like, <laughs> and you're like, chill. It's kind of intimidating. But um, other than that, though, if you if you kind of ignore it, he's a really, really cool person. But and Greg Guffel, he he's pretty funny in person, too. But like I said, it's just like you have to um, like a uh, kind of be somebody to like walk up to him and, you know, talk to him and stuff and he, you have to like kind of know him already you know what I mean in order to like be personable with him in that sense but yeah any of the fans and stuff he's like oh cool yeah <laughs> get away from me <laughs> this is kind of one of those things and Tom Shalou he's more like a oh my god and then he asks you questions and everything and he he actually he he really likes people so it's, it's kind of funny I know this is strange but there's another world Full of evil and good being and being with the oh yeah oh yeah definitely so what you right no <laughs> did the ratings sink when gutfeld left red eye why else would fox cancel such a different unique show that that's the thing though it was it was the highest ratings they've ever had you know uh red eye was doing really really good and um it, it didn't you would think it it uh, would start going down after Gutfeld, but it actually started going up, and like um, and it kept going up, and it was like very, like I I thought it wouldn't, but um, and a lot of people thought it wouldn't, but um, not because of Shalou or anything, but it's be, it was just because like a lot of people just don't like change. I mean, I don't. Um. But yeah, um, it yeah it was it was the highest ratings. Lucifer's hand, black cast. Wait, 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 early Pink Floyd. Nice. Hell yeah. The Master Margarita. Nice. <laughs> um, here, let's see. What else? Here's a third trip, second trip to New York. I have albums for <laughs> Let's see. What's a good one? Oh, there's Loopy. And uh, if it was on I'd probably still watch it honestly I mean that's what I'm saying and I'd probably be on it just a second <laughs> uh. yeah I still like um I had a, a chance you know what I mean because <laughs> like I said I was on it one time like right before it got canceled um and uh, like I said, it was it was gonna be like a a normal a normal gig for me, but that didn't happen. <laughs> it's gonna be on like once or twice a month. Uh, that's I mean that's what I would like anyway. If it was on, I'd probably still on. Do you do commission artwork? Yeah, I do commissions. I think Taz is allergic to money. I, <laughs> I hate making money. <laughs> Telling the truth, Black Cassidy. Are demons incarnate in the form of black cat, donkey, dog, or pig? Damn, if you meet this one, your heart will be like an egg. <laughs> I mean, I, I believe in, you know, dark forces and stuff because, I mean, there's good forces. So why wouldn't there be evil forces? You know what I'm saying? Here's the little bee. That's the bee. And it's Bobby. <laughs> it's Bobby. This is in compound media. And Drew. And, uh, and Jameson. This is Sullivan's. Oh, the famous, <laughs> famous Sullivan. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Anthony Cumia. And here's the drawings that I did. Did a lot of really drawing. Oh, who cares? I don't care. Um... Oh, and here's the Long Island people. I know a lot of, uh, cause I started, 
I started like uh, meeting a lot of people from Long Island through like the show. It was on like Gov's radio and that's Governors in Levittown. I don't know how I found that. <laughs> but um, I ended up watching them and um, yeah, they are you a boy? I'm a girl. Good for you. Back then, it was a goal of mine to be on Red Eye. I guess I missed my shot. At least you were on it. Yeah, like that. That was that was me too. When I was twelve, I was like, I'm going to be on that. <laughs> and I got it just in time. <laughs> just in time. Uh, sometimes I feel like I fight you in my dreams. Is that normal? Nice. So yeah. Oh, Mandy Jones. She's a she's a really good comedian. Oh, look at my double chin. Ugh! Gus. And here's the... Here's the Pat Dixon crime report. Hell yeah. And... Oh, there's a... We went to Dave Landau's thing. And uh, he asked this kid, like... Uh, this kid had a bunch of friends that were drunk. And he was the designated driver. And... Um, like, Dave Landau told the um, drunk kid to do something and he, he ended up slapping his friend and then he Dave Lando asked him to punch his friend and he did. And so I was just like, I'm gonna draw you. And I don't think I ever did. <laughs> Kinda gay. And here's the Shalou at Shalou's house. Little Finn, I miss him. Little Finn passed away, it is sad. But here's Bill Lobley and his wife and Mrs. Shalou and his kids and everything. And like, we literally look related. It's kind of weird. <laughs> He's like, all of that. Oh, yeah, and it was Easter. <laughs> so he got the, got the bunny. And then, uh, let's see. And a third trip to New York. Leave the kids out of it. <laughs> nah, that's good. And here's Inns from Limo Talk. Dang, that's the late night's test stream. Cormac! Uh, Big A was doing these shots. Hell yeah, look at that. I got that Big A cameo. And she was really cool. I can't remember her name. She's really sweet. And here's Kuma. This is Gas Digital. This is a Paco's dog. Uh, the Cat in the Gap lady worked there. Here's Mike. And here's Zenhauser. I got I got him uh, p picking his nose, I guess. <laughs> Oopsie. And here's a... Uh, at Compound Media, they had that... Uh, this is E-Rock's computer. And they had a bunch of that... From a uh, Bopri, that was obviously my favorite. Obviously, Carmack, I love you. And I was uh, talking to my sister. And here's Clo LeBlanc, LeBlanc, Here's these two, Alex and Mike. And here's Tom Shalou's phone. <laughs> He's a bunch of Biden shit. <laughs> And, uh, oh, is this, I sneaked a thing on Mr. Kumia. There's Kumia right here. Fucker. And here's, a uh, Miss LaBella's drawing. And we went to a place here. Oh, my God, I put a Hitler stand. <laughs> Lots of Cheetos does. I think Rex Yes! They're, le they're legitimate. Cheeto. And Miss Lupella. I miss her, man. She's great. This is the last time I've seen everybody. I miss them. I really want to hang out again. Was that sad? And here's Mr. Lovely. <laughs> Here they again. My dad's. <laughs> the gay lover. <laughs> it's outside. Oh, it's a video. I don't want to see. Actually, another video would be pretty funny. Got it. Uh. Yeah. What? Um. 
No. I mean, I probably would have. <laughs> but something happened. Matt Palumbo. So, yeah. I don't think he won. Here's the cat that got thrown. <laughs> Poor little Elsie, man. Hope she's okay. Alright, those two. And here's like the plane red. There's the plane. Oh, here's Steve. Here's Stiff. There's a big A. Um Bobby again. That's a bit yeah, she is pretty. Hey, it's not a secret of beautiful family friends. Billy and Zen. <laughs> I yeah, honestly. Here here I am with Akumi again. Yeah, I was drawing a lot. That's why uh you see all these drawings. At the time like, before this trip, I was not drawing. And so when I was, on, like, here, I was drawing them a lot. And I'm like, wow, they're really fun to draw. I, I have to draw compound now. <laughs> and thus, here's Pat. Here's Papa Pat. Pat, 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 Pat. Pat, 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 Pat. Um, jeez. Wrong Pat show. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> you drawn? Get out of here. Oh, here's <laughs> I wasn't having a good time, and this this lady was kind of weird. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Joe Curry. What's up? Good night. I die. Raptor, I love you. So I know every time I see you, call Joe, you see Mr. Catalano. <laughs> Task got them cheekbones. Do. Oh, Loopy. 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 Mr. <laughs> Always made fun of Bobby. I call him Bobby. And uh, I sent that to him. He, he looked at it and he's like, mm. lentils. Yeah, uh, Gino threw that at me. Here's a uh, Jimmy Fela's um, office. Here's Jimmy Fela, Skippy and Chumpani, <laughs> dog, and then just like pictures of New York. That was the last time I was there. I was 2022 20, before the punch. Um, and so. Because I was drawing there a lot, I was just like, dog, this is like red eye. It's like red eye all over again. And um, I just figured that I'll uh, I'll probably draw for these guys. And I know them already. So that'd be pretty cool to maybe get on some shows one of these days again. Like I always like being on shows. It's, it's, it's fun to be a guest and stuff. And, um, but like uh, that show was always on. I never watched it until I started watching it. That show was funny as heck and informative. Yes! Yes, it was! <laughs> it was the best, man. It was, yeah, it was the best. I really missed that show. Um, and uh, when did you leave Compound Test? Well, <laughs> so this, this all happened the end of March, beginning of April, and like most of April, you know? And so in May, I subscribed to Compound Media and drew for them every day. And I was just like uh, getting a lot of traction and everything again. Do, do they pay the guests? No. <laughs> yeah, uh, Fox News do not pay guests. Um, that, that was just like, you're going to be on the show. It's fine. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, that's okay. I, I, I didn't expect to be paid anyway, you know. But, um, and, and it's kind of weird to be paid as a guest, you know. So, um, now if you're like a, if you're a regular, then I think they start paying you, I think. But, um, yeah. And I think, um, like if you're on every day, I think you, 
I think that's when they start paying you. And like uh, Jimmy Falia, Falia, Jimmy Fela and uh, Joe DeVito and Joe Mackey, who else uh, from there? They all they all got um, jobs at Fox News because of Red Eye and because of Tom Shalhoub. Because Tom Shalhoub was, was the one that had them on. Well, Joe Mackey was Greg Gutfeld's guy, but... Um, and Joe DeVito was on there too, but anyway, like, Shulu had them on way more, and, um, and more as, like, a, Joe Mackey was more of a guest rather than a correspondent at that time, so people got to know him a lot better, and, uh, Joe Mackey was actually the first person that I met from the Red Eye people, so, <laughs> so that was kind of funny, and that was 2015, though, so I was, I was, like, new, very, very new, and so nobody knew who I was at the time, including him. So it was kind of like, hi, Mr. Mackey, I draw for the show. And he was like, that's cool. And I'm like, they always say, put yourself out there. And fuck, <laughs> they were wrong. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> this, is, this is gay. <laughs> but now, you know, like now it's, it's kind of second nature, I, I guess. Now, I don't know. Because, um... Like I said, the um, when I went to New York, everybody was just like, oh my God, it's Tess. Like they freaked out when they seen me. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> it just didn't make sense. But it was really cool. Uh, Carmen, best to you. Boo, you love you. Um, but yeah. Uh, so Compound, I drew all of May. And I was just like, uh, because I, I drew like a month, I was just like, okay. I'm just going to do this, you know? And so I got a year subscription in June. <laughs> like, and it was actually like a couple of days before the punch. A year subscription <laughs> is 80 some dollars if you use promo code Akumi or whatever it was at the time. But it was still 80 some dollars. <laughs> So I spent eighty dollars, eighty something dollars, for no reason. Because um, after the punch, I was just like, "Well, if Pat's not going to be there, then I'm not going to be there." Grr, you know. And of course, um, Kumia and all of them have nothing to do with me after that, <laughs> which that kind of sucks. But you know, Kumia, that that kind of like, like man, that really sucks. You know, to like be on that side, you know what I mean? But whatever. It is what it is. She used to be uh she so used to be <laughs> eat a bread sandwich. Make a bread sandwich. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but um so yeah, you know, cuz like Pat and I we've known each other like since 2017. That's when he was on Red Eye and um me and him um like, "Hey, nice drawing. Hey, nice show, you know." And that that's basically all we would do. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean, like I said, I've known him for a long time. And uh, we uh, hung out with, like, the Cat in the Gap girl and stuff. Uh, was mutual friends of ours, and we hung out a lot. But So, yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool to hang out with Pat, too. Uh, we all need to worship God. Jesus worship. Islam is the truth. Islam is the truth. The fuck out <laughs> There's only one God. Wait a minute. You're not true Islam because they don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> I mean, they believe in Jesus, but they don't believe in Jesus like Christ. Stop yipping. Stop yipping. Kidicks. Anyway. So, um, yeah, Red Eye. Red Eye was cool. <laughs> um, but today, Shalou had um, uh, Terry Shepard on. We do believe in Jesus. That's why I just, I just said that. <laughs> I, there's probably a, uh, what's it called? A delay. So my bad dog. I knew a lot of artists on, on college. We eventually had to take normal people jobs. <laughs> well, I mean, the reason why I, I didn't take a like normal job was because, um, I was sick. <laughs> I was sick for a long time and I, I got like really sick. The only thing I could do, do was draw. And so, you know, I drew the best I could, damn it. <laughs> that is almost later than Christianity. It is. Tess, don't draw Mahomet. <laughs> oh no! If I drew Mahomet. I'm 
joking. I have a question for you. Does Jesus know everything? I mean, he is the son. <laughs> he is the son, so yes. But he doesn't know the end days. Only God knows that. Even Jesus doesn't know the end days, so. And it says that in the Bible. <laughs> but she doesn't say that in, I'm joking. I don't know. I don't know. I, I get it. Uh, one of my, my, one of my friends is Muslim. He's not Islamic, but he's Muslim. And, uh, I mean, they're kind of similar. <laughs> um, he doesn't know my research history. Wait, so is Jesus God? Um, the Catholics think that God and Jesus and all that, they're like the same. But if you think about it, it's just like they're one and the same. Like it said in the Bible, there's Jesus and Jesus says, he's my father. And so I'm like, even Jesus says he's my father. You know, Jesus is Jesus and God's God, you know. But like um, in the end, I mean like, it even says in the Bible that we're all one and the same, like that um, we're all, it's like different parts of the body, you know, like each one of us are different, but we're all needed in the body to function all, you know, together. So, and that's what Jesus is. So. It's in the Bible. <laughs> yes, Jesus worship God. Jesus is prophet. Only thing that really matters is the lesson. Yes, Maddox. And Jesus was a prophet, but also he was the son and he was the, um, what's it called? The, the Messiah. Which, uh, weirdly, Jewish people don't believe that he's the Messiah, so. And they're missing out. <laughs> and see, they're, they're still believing the Old, the old Testament, which uh, then Jesus came in with the New Testament. And God was just like, believe in the New Testament, dog, because the Old Testament is old. <laughs> dog. <laughs> so, unlock the nukes. <laughs> oh, no. I assume without giving up your exact location, you're on the East Coast. No, West Coast. <laughs> I uh, I keep up with the East Coast time. Like, all of my time, like, all my clocks, in my room anyway, are, are on East Coast time. Because I, that's where I work, mainly. Where I work, I, I threw online. Yeah. Dang girl, we're like a religious study major in college. How do you know so much about religion? I, I read the Bible. <laughs> God is one. Jesus is a prophet of God. And Jesus is the Messiah and will return. Yes, Nader. That's, that's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Hold on, I'll be right back. I think there's a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> but, um. But, yeah. I think that, like, religion, though, and everything, that's kind of a personal thing. I mean, if you want to talk about it and everything, talk about it. And you shouldn't be scared to talk about it. I mean, I'm not scared to talk about it or anything. But it's just also kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Islam is the fastest growing religion. Most Christians get Islam for the news, unfortunately. No, 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 I get it, you know. Like um, like I said, I'm, I'm friends with Muslims. And uh, he he told me, like, oh, like, we, we believe in the Bible, too. Like, um, the Quran's basically the Bible, but it just has more <laughs> in it, you know, because there's, like, Muhammad and a, and a bunch of other prophets, you know, after the New Testament, which, you know, yeah. But, um, yeah, we, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't know, no. <laughs> I respect you. Thank you, Nader. Uh, spirituality is a, spirituality is a personal belief. Religion is a business. Yeah, that's what, that's what I kind of think. Stealth, you seem like a great person. Very respect. Thank you, man. I, uh, let some Mormon dudes in my house once they were nice and tell me about Joe something something. You know what's funny is that my my uh, dad was named after cuz um my my grandpa was kind of raised from like other people besides his parents cuz his parents were uh drunk Scottish people. And and uh they were brought up from uh these Mormon people. I don't think they were adopted per chance, but like uh, they just would go to their place and they 
they're the ones that kind of raised them basically. But those people were Mormons and to respect them, my grandpa and my grandma named my dad after Joseph Smith. That That's our last name. So his name was Joseph Hiram Smith, which Hiram was Joseph's Smith, uh, St Joseph Smith's brother, Hiram Smith. And those two created Mormonism. And I'm just kind of like, what are the odds of <laughs> Joseph Hiram Smith is my dad's name. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't like the Church of Scientology. Oh. <laughs> Magic underpants. Crown hogs. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, this might be rude, but are you going to boy of more? Oh, no. I have heard it. It's actually pretty glory. <laughs> Pictures in there. Wow, nice. Are you okay with mistakes in the Bible and changing of God's words? No. I know, um, like, I kind of believe that Catholics kind of get it wrong. Even though, and they, they claim that, oh, Catholics is the original Christian. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but, um, Christianity was like, uh, uh, Catholics kind of took what the Jewish people were doing, like, you know, all the traditional, like, uh, smoke and whistle sort of thing, and, and they do a lot of, like, tradition stuff. They're like, oh, this feast and that feast, and oh, now we have to slaughter the lamb, kiss the baby, give you chips, <laughs> sip wine. <laughs> you know, stuff like that, I'm just kind of like, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, not tradition, but just like, a, I mean, it's traditional, but it's, um, oh my God. It's a word that exactly describes. <laughs> oh no. Um, anyway, they, they do that stuff. And I, I'm not, I'm not really into that because I, I'm just thinking like, God basically was just like, you don't have to slaughter the animals anymore because Jesus did that. <laughs> and uh, I'm not saying that Catholics do that, but her father might have founded the Mormon religion. My, we're not Mormon, but my dad was named after the Mormon. <laughs> God, Emperor Trump has been persecuted for a second. <laughs> Dog. Quran was preserved and does not have any mistakes in millions of Muslims memorize the book the Quran was sent. But how would you know that? How would you know that? How would you know that? Uh, ritual. Yes, yes. Thank you, Stalin. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, they're like very ritualistic and I, I it makes me uncomfortable and I think every, anything that makes you uncomfortable might not be, you know, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of, like, weird. Sometimes I think the whole ceremony thing with Catholics is good, mostly because I hate contemporary worship. So, yeah. Jesus was a yogi bear. <laughs> it's an eye test now. Nice. I hope it doesn't say anything bad in it. Nice. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, the, the whole ritual stuff is kind of, like, um... Yeah, I mean, that's why the New Testament. Jesus said a bunch of stuff that was just like, hey, man, don't be doing that. And you see Catholics doing it every day and saying, like, this is Jesus' teaching. And you're like, literally, he said the opposite. <laughs> Open the Quran and find a mistake. Yeah. It has been tested time and time. The Bible has multiple mistakes. See, that's the thing, though, Nad Naders, because, like, um... Any of them could have mistakes, you know what I mean? Like, um, they're all printed by men, written by men. I mean, you can say that it's been preserved and everything. Like, uh, the Bible had, like, the Book of Enoch, but, uh, whichever church deemed that, like, unfit, and I think the Catholic Church did, and so they just cut that part out. And see, that's why, like, uh, God said, like, don't add on or don't subtract anything from what I said. And so with the Catholics, they're just like, hi yeah. And, of course, um, any Catholic would say, like, oh, nuh-uh, you know. Like, uh, the Bible's a full Bible. And so 
Um, and like with any Bible too, it's just like, a, who, who knows, you know, who, who really knows? It, it, like this world has been going on for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Like who, who really knows, you know what I mean? Like you, you could say that it's been preserved, but like who's to know that like some priest kind of like kind of took some of the pages out, you know, or like scribed something that probably shouldn't be in, you know? It's one of those things. The Old Testament never mentioned the Trinity. It was made up. Mm. Wow. I believe in Tommy and playing pinball. At least. All right. Uh, most Christians don't follow their religion. It's the same name. I mean, I agree with that, Nader. Um, a lot of Christians are very hypocritical, but that's what Jesus said, too, about, um, like, don't don't be the hypocrite, you know? And he warned us about um, people who, who will say, like, um, they'll, they'll preach my teachings. They'll preach the good, the goodness of what Christianity is. But they're going to use that against you, you know? There's going to be a lot of people like that. And, um, and that's why, like, Jesus went into the churches and kind of, like, ah! like, tossed over the tables and everything. And he was just like, uh, don't use my father's place as a, as like this, you know, to like sell shit and everything. And not to no, say that Jesus said any <laughs> bad words. But, um, and that's basically what the church is doing now, you know, like most churches do that now. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's in there. <laughs> I think the Ethiopian Orthodox kept a lot of the, yeah, I think the closest. Exactly, Lugs. So do you celebrate Christmas and Easter because it was never mentioned in the Bible there were pagan holidays? I know that. But it's just it's more it's more like a tradition, like um like an American tradition. It's more it's more like that. It's more like a cultural thing. It's not a religious thing. But we do put religion in it, like um we we think about Jesus, but like that's the thing though, so you think about Jesus all the time, you know, you're supposed to. But, like, Christmas is supposed to kind of, like, symbolize that. And, like I said, it's just more of a traditional thing. And it, you could you could say that that's a ritualistic thing. And I, I could be a hypocrite. And, yeah. <laughs> I like presents. Damn. <laughs> but I also like the Christmas tree. I also like, you know, all that. Like, but that's what I mean is that's that's a, more of a tradition. Um, but then you hear, like, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. And, you know, that... <laughs> So, you know, pretty sure the Bible says not to worship any effigy and not to have any repetitive prayer. Yes, Mannix. People that blindly follow man-made rules of the religions are a problem. Yes, man-made. Exactly. I invite you to at least read the Quran and see the truth for yourself. I, as a Muslim, read the Bible and Islam made more sense. Yeah. I don't get COVID. <laughs> he seems super cool. I said him so... Don't let me down, JK. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Dan, they are a religious holiday, and you know it's wrong. No, no, I said it's like it's a tradition, you know? Like, we grew up with it, and I'm just kind of like, it, it It was more like a, wow, I, we did this as kids, and I really like liked it as a kid, and it, I still get the same feelings like that, you know? But then it's also like a, you have a lot of a, it's a kind of an opportunity to teach like the religion part, you know, and uh, and I think that that's a good thing. Like uh, every Easter, we would watch uh, the Ten Commandments, and would read the Ten Commandments and read that story, you know. And uh, every Christmas, we'd read about Jesus being born and everything, and watch shows about it being born and everything. <laughs> him being born, it being born. <laughs> Oopsie, but him being born and everything. So. Uh, making fun of the hijab, but Mary, Jesus' mom, wore it. How everyone is naked. Don't think Jesus would like that. We actually listen to God. We actually listen to God. <laughs> but I mean, like, and it's funny because, like, I'm not arguing with you, Nader, you know? Like, it, it's just, uh, I'm just telling you, like, that's, this is how this is. And, um, but I, I'm, I'm kind of, like, trying to explain that, um, 
like, because, like, I, I read some of the Bible and stuff, and a lot of the stuff that's in the Bible is kind of, like, you know? Like, you can tell that it was, like, man-written, you know, like a human words, you know, and not really of God. There's, like, some, some things about that, you know what I mean? Or, like, uh, mistranslations, stuff like that. And you could kind of, like, see that and feel that and kind of go, mm, you know? And, um, you know, pray and um, talk to God, speak to God, speak to Jesus, you know, and pray. But, like, uh, that's all I'm trying to say is that um, what you're saying about, like, the Bible and everything, um, it could also be like the Quran, you know. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing anything. It's just, uh, I'm just saying, like, be careful. Like, what you're saying about the Bible could also be what's happening in the Quran is what I mean. So, read the Quran. Tell me if you feel the same way. I read some of it. It's like, yeah, it is not the same. <laughs> it isn't. Um, I read some of, like, the history and stuff. Because, like, the Bible and everything, like, all, all of that's, like, basically history, you know, or very, oh, thanks, man, um, but I, I, that's what I mean, is, like, you, you can't tell somebody's just, like, mine's right, and yours is wrong, grr, you know, like, I'm not even saying that about Catholics, I'm just, I'm just pointing out, like, the, some of the hypocrisy, some of, like, the, because I, I, I just, I, I'm a type of person, I really do not like, uh, um, Gosh, I'm like forgetting words right now. Uh, no, can't. It starts with a C. Or somebody called me smart and it just jinxed. <laughs> um, inconsistencies. So it so starts with an I. I'm dumb. Um, I, I, I really hate inconsistencies. And a lot of like the Catholic stuff, it, there's a lot of inconsistencies. And I'm so I'm not saying it right, but you know what I mean. And um, even like uh some Christians, you know, like uh a lot of people can say that they're Christian, but they are not, and you know that, you know. There's a lot of inconsistencies with like individuals, you know. Individuals have like a lot of things going on. And um, and yeah, you know, it's just like, and I and I could say that a lot with, about every religion, you know, there's, there's some inconsistencies here and there, but if like, um, you as an individual know that God and Jesus exist and that they're the way and they say that they're like, I'm the way and the only way. And that's it. You know, you're good if you get that. <laughs> and, um, and it's a process. Like it's, 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 you're constantly learning. You're constantly, you know, and, um, it's a, it's a constantly renewing experience um, in that way, and, um, so if you, if you follow them, and just them, you know, and instead of, like, what other people say, or what other people do, then that's, that's, that's kind of what I, uh, see, and I guess you could say that it's a spiritual thing, you could say that it's religious, um, I kind of think that it's a little bit of both, but, um, yeah, because, like I said before, like, uh, the Quran, like, who knows whether or not all of it's correct? Who knows whether or not the Bible, like, all of it's correct? Like I said, like, they, they literally took out, like, the book of Enoch. They, they, you know, so what else did they take out of, you know what I mean? So, or who, what did they add, you know? So it's, it's just one of those things. I was born as a Muslim and still read the Bible too, actually, and find the truth. Nice man. Nice man. But I, I hope you know what I'm I'm trying to say. I, I'm trying <laughs> I'm not very good at explaining things. Uh, you're smart enough to see who one is correct. Who's the last one? Yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. You just have to understand both sides before saying Christianity is correct. Yeah, I'm not I'm, you know. We all believe in different things, but I think every Everyone will end up in the same places. Yeah. Buddhist is the philosophy and Zen Buddhist is punk rock. 
Wow, very Christian. Also smart and cool in nerd way. Thank you. Catholics and prof rock. <laughs> yeah. Um, Islam is world music. Uh, I was born in... Okay. Where are my Crowleyites? <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls. Yo. Yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls. Book of Enoch. Uh, Church of Christian Science is math rock. <laughs> Roblox is life. Oh my god. <laughs> Church of Christian Sciences math rock. <laughs> That's pretty great. God is one. God doesn't have a family. He is one and supreme. Adam is your fa our father, not God. We are the creation of God, and God is the creator. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's the thing, though, is that um, back in the Old Testament, that that was Adam's, you know, blood. And then now we're we're in the new generation where it's a, a mixture of Adam's blood and, you know, the blood of Christ. And um so that you know, that's that's where we're at. So everybody has a little bit of God in them. But also, you know, with the old the old uh, man um Adam thing, that's that's where we have conflict. So that's that's where that sucks. Okay, let's get back to talking about the Great Cup Us and Interfer. <laughs> uh, Charlie Manson was the second coming. <laughs> oh, no, oh my god. Jeez, chill with that. <laughs> womp womp. Scientology's retarded. But yeah, uh, Greg Gutfeld, uh, he hates people. <laughs> Which, again, I find was so funny because, like, he's, he's on these shows. But that's what I said is like he he really likes being on the shows, but I just I think he just doesn't like that part. So, and uh, yeah, Nader, I got you, girl. I mean, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. Um, I got you, girl. Is like a what? Um, it's a. It's a. Oh my god, words again. It's a reference to something, and I can't remember what it was. Boy band, yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm out nice talking to you. I would at least hope you look into Islam. You will see the truth in front of you. You will be very respectful. I appreciate you. Thank you, Nader. Uh, have a good one, man. Take care. Jesus loves you. Uh, I said, thanks, Big Fridge. Uh, he knows that Jesus loves him. And it's spelled womp womp. Who's laughing in Scientology? He's telling me the narrator has found <laughs> Look into Islam based UK rape. <laughs> Stop! Stop, Sil! Stop it! No, he, he's right. Like, a, like, my friend from Algeria, he's Muslim. And it's funny because, like, a, Algeria, it's, a, it's in Africa and everything, but, like, a, in kind of Middle Eastern. But, like, a, France had occupied there. Hey, yeah, yes, God first, then Jesus. Yeah! Um, it was funny because it's Jesus first, then God, is what he said. I, you know, that's what I, that's what I think. Like, a lot of people say, oh, you have to talk to Jesus who goes to God. And I'm like, but Jesus said that he talks to his father, so I'm going to talk to my, I'm going to talk to my dad, too. <laughs> Because I, I think of, um, and I, that's probably just me, because I, you know, this is what helped me. Uh, Jesus is my bro, and, uh, and God's my dad. I know it's dumb, but it made sense to me. <laughs> now that everything is psyop, they got me wanting to give Scientology a second chance. She and, uh, from the movie, cool. <laughs> Jesus blood never failed me yet. You're literally smarter than most Christians. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Jesus was blood. Jesus stripes be healed. Um, or whatever that was. By his stripes be healed. Is that what how that went? You are some. Thank you, Nader, man. Thank you so much. Um, I hope to see you around soon again. France also occupied Vietnam. Grant. Yeah. France is, like, everywhere, dog. And I'm sad because I'm kind of French. This is so sad. So, me and the Algerian dude had so much in common. <laughs> Just being my French. <laughs> but, um... 
So yeah, I was thinking he was gonna be like a like a Middle Eastern looking kid, but he's actually like whiter than I am. And I'm like, oh, um, but his name's Yasin, and um, very Muslim, and um, has like a accent because he they speak Arabic over there, I think. And um, but he told me he was just like you know, like. It, does like 9-11 kind of affect your way of thinking about like me and my people stuff like that and I'm like no and it's funny because like when 9-11 did happen everybody was just like oh my god stop Islam hate and I'm like there's no Islam (laughs) nobody's like hating on anybody we're just like why'd you why'd you blow up our towers dog (laughs) but um yeah, and um, I don't know. It was just one of those things that every, everybody knows. There's like, dog. <laughs> There's like individuals that are bad. We get it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like people think that we're dumb, I guess. Um, Stealth Chaos only quote bangers off. McGurk can appreciate you, dude. Anyone else in chat feel like someone was going to come in here with a bomb strip of their chest? Ah, uh, the French champagne. Uh, hey, and Mr. Nada, how you doing? There's a bunch of Yemenese people. <laughs> I'm good, man. How are you? I don't know. It was an inside shot. Uh, Moscow terror attack connection. Oh, shit. I think it would be cool to have a regular slightly unhinged Muslim chair, but not my channel to say. <laughs> Honestly, they're chill. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, who's the richest YouTuber and all the others? Um, who was a uh, who was PewDiePie against that one time? Oh my God! What is that channel called? That that Indian channel. Uh, wow! I literally for not Mr. Beast. I was gonna make a. <laughs> I was gonna make a YouTube like twenty sixteen, um, reference. PewDiePie was against this. Uh, it was like a huge ass channel. I once spent three hours in the Scientology building in Hollywood. I thought it, it was was thought provoking, interesting. Still didn't join or purchase their merchandise. <laughs> Islam is perfect, but Muslims are not. The Quran tells us, if you killed in person innocently, it's like you killed all of mankind. Hmm. I like that. T series. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, T series is the. Oh my. Okay, chill. <laughs> we got T series guys. <laughs> Who is the most subscriber in the world? T series. Coco Melon. <laughs> but um. Yeah. So anyways, Red Eye, Red Eye was a pretty cool, pretty cool show. <laughs> Are you a YouTuber or an artist? I'm an artist, first and foremost. Um, I don't I don't even consider myself a YouTuber, really. I do make uh, videos, though. I, I like editing and everything. Huh. I like being on shows. Um, I moderate for uh, a channel. P. Dixon, he's on Rumble now. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, Pat Dixon, I mean, sorry. P. Dixon was his YouTube channel. Rip. But Pat Dixon, go on, uh, rip. I was gonna say Roblox. Who said Roblox? <laughs> I'm gonna ban this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I like your smile. Thank you, Nate. Nader. I like you too, man. I am big Ruby Franken fan, but she does not upload much these days. Oh, man. Coco Melon T series. No spaces. Thank you, Mannix. P. Dixie. I live in LA too long to actually enjoy Scientologists. They never stop trying to talk to me because they, oh my God. Pat Dixon. Did he go to college? No, I did not. I'm, I'm retarded. I'm joking. Um, college was never an option for me. I mean, like, one, because we can afford it. And I knew that growing up. Like, literally, it was like, not a chance. But number two is because I didn't want to go. Because <laughs> I knew that college um, was kind of like, 
I don't know, everybody was going to college and it's just like, that's not, um, it lost its, uh, like, that's cool, you know, like it lost its, um, charm. <laughs> Have you done any TikTok streams for your art tasks? I probably ought to. Um, one of my friends, H, has said that I, I ought to because, um, that's what everybody's doing nowadays. And, um, oh, that's what I was going to do. My bad. Just a second. Um, but he said that it, it will kind of boost your what's it. So I'm like, oh, cool. You know, what's funny about, um, my third trip to New York was in 2022. And by then, Red Eye was, had been long gone. And I had told the Cat in the Gap girl, like, hey, um, yeah, I'm kind of not a thing anymore. Like, my my peak came and went. Like, as soon as it came, it left. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of a nobody anymore. I, I, I didn't keep in touch with a lot of people. So a lot of people would be like, who? You know? I mean, Jimmy Fallon know who I am. Uh, Tom Shalhoub knows who I am, like, we, we still keep in touch, Pat Dixon and I keep in touch, you know, but, um, yeah, that's, that's when she was just, like, Sayonara, Ramadan, Mubarak, to my Muslim fastings, nice, thanks, man, did you see today's MLC, and how unartistic was she, oh, I didn't, I, did, I haven't been watching MLC, <laughs> I am from Australia. Cummins, thank you, man. Uh, TikTok is the devil, and I am a Luddite. <laughs> also, Dan, uh, I don't know what that is. TikTok is the devil, I agree. Are you a starving artist? Yes. <laughs> I am from Australia, big fan. Thank you, man. Wait, are you? Thank you. You remember me from Red Eye. <laughs> but, um... If you if you like to donate, here's my donation. Just suck. <laughs> Let me uh put that in there real quick. I better get off. I'm whoa. Oh my god. I've been Oh <laughs> I had to been off a while back. I should have been off a while ago. My bad. I lost track of time. I lose track of time often. As you do. <laughs> Can you give your Insta? Uh, Tasks of Resident Artist. It's the same as uh, this. Donate to the red hair. Dupin Schmirt. Am I redheaded? Paste. Okay, here's the link to that. And then also Pat Dixon's, uh, I was going to say Roblox again. Um, <laughs> Pat Dixon's Rumble. Uh, like and subscribe there. He's on every day at 11 Eastern time. Can I get your Insta? Uh, follow Tass the Resident Artist. Uh, Tass the R underscore A. Five hour. Oh my god. I assume it's 11.45 over there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's getting kind of late. <laughs> it's almost tomorrow here on Cali. Yeah, it's almost tomorrow. <laughs> um, Pat's on Roblox. I know. <laughs> I keep say trying to say Roblox. Thanks for the stream task. It was nice having you. Yeah. See you, see you again, Lugs. Um, yeah, tomorrow at... Oh, my God. Tomorrow at 10 Eastern time. Jeez. Oh, man, my brain's fried. This is so... This is so sad. But, uh, yeah. What a love... Uh, for you to subscribe there. I'll see you guys there at Pet Chat. Try to read this. They're very good because they're good. Oh, cookies. <laughs> they're, they are good. Most YouTubers will not touch religion, but Taz handle it with some. A plump. The fuck's that? <laughs> a plump. I'm, I'm broadening my vocabulary. I, I guess. Um, a plump. <laughs> a plump. A plump. A plump. Oh no. Me definition. Thank you. So.
self-confidence or assurance. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. Have a good one. <laughs> Having a plump day. Or <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I was, I was kind of like, I was kind of famous for a while and then now I'm not. <laughs> I was very proud of it, damn it. Ah, and uh, but yeah. So thanks for um, still being. <laughs> thanks for the hang tabs. Hope you do more late night streams in the future. Thanks, man. But uh, oh yeah, and if you're wondering how I know Pat, that's that's literally where I know Pat is through Red Eye and thus. So that that's why. If you guys are wondering. Um yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, catch you later. Catch you tomorrow at ten. Or, actually, I'm going to try for uh, 9.30. Um, but, yeah. See you guys then. Uh, also, Pat Chat, he's going to be on at 11. Um, love you guys. Um, uh, damn, just had to check that meeting. So. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. All right, guys. Take care. Uh, have a good one. Love you. And thanks so much. Um, that's that's pretty cool. I, I love talking about the red eye days. And uh, oh, that's that's what I was going to talk about. Terry Shepard. Terry Shepard was talking about red eye, and so I was just like, that made me like kind of kind of think about it. You know, that was a good that was a good time. And uh, go watch. Um, go look up Tom Schlu, and um, it's good. You'll you'll see the Terry Shepard thing. Go watch Terry Shepard stuff. That that shit was good. One last question: Did you get uh, hate for being on Fox, being from West Coast? Um, not really. I'm a very likable person, <laughs> but um, like my my um Hawaiian family, very very loud, very you know, um, but like uh my. Uh, grandma Tutu, which Tutu means grandma, but, um, but she, uh, found out that I worked at Fox News and stuff, and so she, she started kind of, like, harassing me that I, I was racist and everything, and I'm like, who told her? <laughs> oh, my sister told her. That's, my wife, why did you say that? She's like, she's gonna work at Fox News, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know how she is, dog? But um, my my other my uncles and stuff they're all like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. So we got a lot of Filipino uh, kids all, and Samoans and everything. Hell yeah. Grandma, grandma, <laughs> yeah, grandma, grandma. So um, I mean, in that sense, there there was that. But um, other than that, uh, a lot of people don't know that I work at Fox News, and the people who do know that I work at Fox News are conservative and there's actually a lot of conservatives in Washington state which sucks because a lot of like the Californians moved up you know but like liberal Californians so not even the good kind <laughs> not even the good Californians but they destroyed Washington state uh with their liberal views and everything so I mean we could go on with that but uh a lot of things for the reply thank you man uh but yeah catch you again uh 10 o'clock 9.30, 9.30, I'm gonna try 9.30. It's probably gonna be 10 o'clock. But anyway, you guys, take care, love you. <laughs> and uh, have a good one. And thanks, thanks so much for joining. Um, God bless. <laughs> and uh, sweet dreams. <laughs>